Aquarius, welcome to your reading for this week um, on the Astro Flower, going from the 16th through to the 22nd of October. Um, yes, there's a, been the eclipse that's come through. I've done a special reading on our sister channel called Cymatic TV. Um, you will be able to find a link to that channel down in the description below. Uh, it just basically gives us an idea of what's going on within our energies, how we can use it to our best abilities, and what's going on in the world that is around us. Let's just see what's going on for you on your overall reading this week. Okay, so yeah, there is um, the overall energies here we got is the Five of Swords. Um, Walking away from complications that doesn't really sort of serve you um, about anything. I think the overall energy here um, is helping you to redirect yourself. Um, to not get triggered by situations and people that are around you that normally you would have kind of taken issue with, as it were. And I think the overall energy is kind of going, yes, Aquarius, just move on, just move on. That sort of thing. And I think little coincidences will come in. So you're talking to someone and it's getting a bit sort of dodgy, uh, a little bit tetchy. And someone comes in and sort of says, hi, Aquarius, uh, can you just come and have a look at this? And so you kind of, yeah, sure, hang a second. Bye, excuse me. So it just takes you away from sort of complication sort of situations within your life. And obviously you can extrapolate that to in your, in your, uh, in your, in your relationship with also your financial sort of side where life itself is taking you in a direction taking you away from any sort of complications i would in your relationship side here is all about getting your fundamental dreams of what you really wish to be living in as a as a life with people that are around you into action um, and it is falling in love with yourself uh, before you can fall in love with someone so don't try and sort of find the love of your life be the love of your life you know be the love of life that's what it seems to be here and it's you've understood this i think you've you've realized that within you converting it into actual day life is can be quite tricky uh, and difficult because we're dealing obviously with other people that may you know that haven't taken that journey with you um they may have been beside you when you're taking that journey but not then no one is on the same path there may be times when your paths are next to each other and there's times when the paths just cross but at no point is anyone on your path you are the only person on your path and i think you've come to this decision of sort of i want to enjoy life i want to really be the best example of myself it's going to breed decisions that you need to make within you. Um, and it could be um, a period. I think this has also been in your cards as well about making decisions to go forward. And um, it's going to help you to realise when you start trying to live what you want to be living as a life and in a connection with other people, it's going to help you to realise where you are stuck in your life where you're in a bit of a rut, where it's not advancing, and why it's not advancing. You have on your karmic mission, you have the um, star card. So I think this is your karmic mission is towards go towards your dreams and your aspirations. The universe is helping you out here. It's, it's trying to radiate love that is constantly around you, the love of life. Um, and it brings in... Um, uh, a sensation of enrichment of that connection with other people and other things that are around you and this is where you have fallen in love with yourself you have the two the lovers card sorry uh, two of cups the lovers card which is connecting your past to your future and the thing that is running through you this week is all to do with that star card but it's how do you connect it into the world that is around you with the nine of pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles is all about communication as well. The assurance that as you walk forward down your pathway, down your life path, there is fruits that are constantly being ripened for you. 
not every single fruit will be ripe at the same time, which is a good thing. So then you're constantly getting rewards and abundance coming into your life and new ideas because you are going down that path of being in love with life. But as I say, this is what it's going to expose in your future. A sensation of feeling stuck, a sensation of feeling in a rut, that almost like the people around you do not, well, not all people, uh, let me say that, not all people, but some people around you didn't get, didn't get the email about falling in love with life. And um, you may find yourself in situations, in certain relationships that are just kind of going, oh, this again, how am I going to get out of this? And I think this is where the five of swords comes into play. This is where I think in the future you should be much more reliant upon the social aspect of life that brings you out of yourself rather than sort of entraps yourself within certain relationships that would entrap you. On your financial side, um, <clears throat> I think you've had really good success um, uh, over, the, over the past, basically. Um, or in the recent past, you're getting real advancements on your life uh, at the moment. And that's helped you to sort of, it's like if you get a job, let's say you've got a job and, you're, and you've increased your salary by two fold. So rather than getting like a thousand or two thousand uh, dollars a month, you're now getting four thousand dollars or whatever it is, five thousand to ten thousand, whatever which way you want to picture it, um, depending on where you uh, live in the world. Um, that opens up a lot of possibilities within your life. Um, and uh, it's seeing things in a different way. So now you've got the finances to actually invest in life in a different way. That's what it seems to be coming from, um, or what's happened in your life. You are actually in a position now which, because of this, it's building a lot of confidence within you. Uh, the moment the success has come into play, um, you have got this sort of, yeah, this confidence that I have created this. I have created my own luck. I've created my path. And this is really empowering of where you're coming from, a very strong position. And now you're coming into that sort of um, seeing things differently. This is where you're coming back into that phase and it comes up in cycles. So we get a, we get a let's say we get a promotion or you open up a business. You then have to nurture that business so you get to a certain level. Then you can employ a lot more people and you can progress. And then you have to nurture the bigger business, as it were. So this whole sort of wave of progression, this wave of reality that's coming through you, it needs a lot of nurturing, a lot of caring, and um, uh, a lot of um, attention, really, more than anything else. And once you start paying attention to that pathway that is really providing for you really good things, that's when you're going to realise what aspects in life, in your career path, in your business and etc. Um, that you did wrong, that were disappointing, that, um, that you kind of thought, ah oh, man, I really missed, I missed an opportunity there. And this is going to set up these healthy boundaries not to miss those opportunities in the future. On your karmic path, you get the Hangman, so seeing things differently. At the moment, you should look at it, life, or look at the, your business or your job or everything around you at the moment in a completely new angle, looking at diff all the different angles that you can. And the universe here has brought you the Five of Cups. This is the disappointing past of you, of where you, um, you can sometimes bring yourself down because... You, you know you get failure and with failure then you sort of start trying to get more success a lot quicker and then you only actually accentuate the failure side of life and that is coming to an end that is finished within you and I think this is the part of seeing things differently is seeing things as well where you missed your opportunities in life which you will not be missing in the future the past to the present is the emperor card this is all about that sort of sitting in your power, really owning your future, where you've been coming from. And this new step up that's happening, is that's running through you, is this whole sort of seven of 
Pentacles, this realization card, this revelation card, where you are realizing how now to, um, how now, brown cow? <laughs> where did that come from? Do you remember that? Hmm. Um, you know, you, um, you're nurturing this future of how to put in place a perpetual growth within you, within your business, within your career path. And this in the future is going to give you these healthy boundaries to stop you going back to that. That's the sort of thing that's coming, coming forward. And it's also because it's taking you away from those conflictual sort of non-winning situations, um, investing in things that just really didn't bring you anything. Let's just do a bit of clarification here now with the Light Seers card. Thank you very much for being here with us, um, Aquarius. Really do appreciate it. Don't forget about all the links in the description below so you can get a, a reading with myself or a healing session with myself um, and all the other support which you show through YouTube, like subscribing, clicking the bell, commenting, but also sharing across all media platforms Facebook groups and stuff like that would really, really help us out. It's really, really appreciated. Um, yes, there is also the competition that's going on on the water signs this week. All you need to do is go over to watch the uh, water signs, like it, and put into the comment um, a competition, uh, and you will be entered into the competition to get a free reading with myself. Walk uh, the was it the wild path? I think won the. Um, last week's readings which were on the earth sign next week it will be on the fire signs and then after that it'll be on the air signs so uh, let's just go in and see what's going on with a bit of a clarification overall energy you get the emperor again here this is all about that sort of having that authority to stop those conflict those petty conflictual situations around you having that authority which is going to take you forward uh, and, and strive for your dreams and your aspirations, basically. And it is all built out of sort of happiness, the happiness of living life, of engaging with life, and which builds into you a lot of confidence as you go forward. Um, and as you do, these possibilities uh, that bring into your life will make you fall in love with being at one with yourself and will free you up enormously uh, basically, it looks like on your relationship side. On your financial side, this is looking at life in a different way in order to see the successes that you can get out of your disappointments in the past. As I said, looking at things in a different way, seeing where you have been absolutely powerful, but also seeing where you haven't taken advantage of those, um, those opportunities in the past. And this is building a whole new way because you're looking at life differently, it's a different approach you're giving to life. And because you're giving a different approach, this is building up and creating a whole new cycle within your life, which is so beneficial to you. It's going to make you really fall in love with life. <coughs> so as I say, on the overall energies here, you get the Emperor card here. This is where you have that authority to stamp upon any sort of conflictual situations. And it doesn't necessarily have to be with other people. It could be with you how you engage with energy as well, engage with the coincidences that are around you, rather than having to fight for coincidences, kind of create them. They're just going to turn up and you can actually deal with them as you come forward. And this is where you get the Five of Swords again. I think this, this conflictual situation was mainly within your relationship side rather than your financial side. Um, but... Um, here on your relationship side, it's moving away from those conflictual things and, and heading towards your dreams. As the universe radiates that beautiful, loving energy of loving life, this is when you see the reality for what it is. You see the situation for what it is, and that's going to help you enormously going forward. Because the moment you sort of see where you're interacting with certain relationships and where certain relationships are really bringing you down rather than actually trying to encourage you to ele um, elevate yourself into that loving thing. It's going to make it very clear what is very good for you, what makes you happy. And where you're coming from, that whole sort of loving life, is building a lot of confidence within yourself. <coughs> because it's you who's created it. It's you who's fallen in love with yourself. And this brings a lot of strength within yourself, a lot of confidence about the path that you're going down. And as I say, all those possibilities and those fruits that are down your path, 
are being illuminated by your passions, your engagement, getting into sync with life. And this is what I was telling you about here on the overall energies. It's getting into sync with energy, but it's also getting in sync with other people that are around you. So rather than being trapped in a um, situation um, that is restricting to you, you're heading towards that, is falling in love with the combining relationships that you can have with people around you and this could be multitude obviously this could be one-to-one -one relationship with you and your partner but also at the same time it's um connections with other people social other people say as a friends family and etc it's you being in line with your higher self helps you to free yourself up enormously from relationships which are holding you back and engage in relationships that are much more sort of um um, proactive relationships that are around you on your financial side seeing things differently is going to give birth you have the empress card as well here so you have the emperor and the empress on the table here um, on both sides it's with the overall energy uh, you have the emperor card and I think this is a unification of you seeing things differently is going to make you emotionally engaged in your um, in your pathway in your career path in a way that opens up the doors of opportunities for you um, and makes you feel really good about where you're going um, and in line with where you're going from the disappointment of the past missing those opportunities this is where you can get your success going forward it's going to be absolutely beautiful for you the universe wants the best out of you and you want the best out of you because Seeing things, this is one of your strengths, Aquarius. You can see things from many different angles and you can take out the emotional judgment of the situation um, in order to build strength within your decisions going forward, which are much more secure and grounded, basically. And as you're nurturing this whole new cycle as it's coming up for you, this is where it's going to open a lot of doors so you can... As you're nurturing your career path or your business or whatever it is going forward, it's going to allow you to explore the emotional side of life, to open up the emotional side in your connection to your business and your projects. And this will then give you one of those healthy boundaries. Look at that. One of those beautiful, healthy boundaries. It's sort of saying, I'm not enjoying this, therefore I'm not going to be doing this anymore. And this is what's going to be building into your strengths as well and help you go off on your career path. It looks really good for um, on, on financial aspects of pushing boundaries of uh, you know, your, your promotions or your, your business or your projects, really pushing in it to the, the beautiful limits of, of engagement of your emotions within your uh, financial wealth. So there you go, um, Aquarius. Thank you very much for being here. Really do appreciate your support for this channel um, and everything that you can do for us. Uh, subscribing, uh, liking, commenting, but also sharing. Sharing across all media platforms is really good. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, really do appreciate it. I hope you get the best out of these readings. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.